Hi, this is Dan with Dan Fixes Everything. Today, we're working on a wine cooler. This wine cooler is not working efficiently. It cools, but it only cools down to the high 60s, like 68 or so, or the low 70s. So it's not working very well. The three basic means of refrigeration I'm aware of are compressor refrigeration systems, like you find in air conditioners and refrigerators. Um, evaporation systems like are often used in campers that can work with propane as a power source. And thermoelectric. Thermoelectrics aren't used very often because they're not very efficient. This thermoelectric uh, system is what's used on the wine cooler. Uh, to start, I remove the covers. There's the covers on the floor. And when I took off the covers, I discovered that this system consists of a circuit board, a solid state circuit board that controls everything, and two coils, uh, the thermoelectric, I'm going to call them coils, thermoelectric devices, heat sinks. And these heat sinks work by moving heat from inside the refrigerator to the outside. When it gets outside, it relies on these coils to move the heat from the coils out into the out into the to the air and these fans assist that and what I discovered was that the coils um, were extremely dirty and this affects their efficiency the good news is because it's reaching the high 60s um, we know that the system is working and this dirt could easily explain why it works so inefficiently. So I think if we remove all the dirt from the coils and remove as much dirt as we can from the, from the fans, because that affects their efficiency as well. The dirt on the fan blades slow the rotational speed and affect the efficiency of removing the air, the, the, heat, the heat out into the air. If we need to, we also have some Frost King foaming cleanser. It's made for uh, it's made for refrigerant coils, and we may try some of this on a toothbrush. But our basic tools that I've been using are a pocket knife to scrape this off, and then a toothbrush. And I've only partially finished, but you can see that this coil is already much cleaner than this. The top coil looked like the bottom coil when I started. So if you can get these coils clean and get the fans clean, put everything back together without breaking anything, you might have a wine cooler that works well. So, I'm Dan. I like to fix things. Today, I'm fixing a wine cooler. And if you have one like this, you might be able to fix yours too. Uh, the name of this is somewhere on it. This is call, called a Costway. It only uses 100 watts of power to keep the wine cool. It's made in China. And that's the project for today. I'm Dan. I like to fix things. And I'll see you down the road.